I just thought I'd show you guys a couple of, uh, of my bowel things. Uh, just got my uh, ham ticket back in January. These are very popular uh, right now, Chinese uh, made radio. Um, they feel really good in the hand. Um, this one is the UV5R Plus. I like this radio. It's got a shiny uh, faceplate, I think, uh, maybe in a, um, a um, survival situation or something. This could also maybe double as some sort of reflecting device. I haven't really tried that out in the sun. Uh, but I like things that uh, are redundant in use. This comes with a uh, 1800 milliamp battery. You can see there on the back the... Uh, the charging uh, connections for that battery a very easy battle battery removal you just push this little tab right here where it says push and uh, it can oops there I think there was a kerchunk exactly what you're not supposed to do let me turn this off um, turn this one off as well um, but just again these are really nice uh, little radios for the price point a lot of people um, talk bad about uh, Chinese made products and Chinese but uh, if you're just getting into ham radio one of these bow things uh, really can serve you well I found that uh, the repeaters that I reach are about 30 miles away uh, from my house and I can uh, I can reach them no problem this is the stock antenna that comes with the the unit um, and I chose to buy an aftermarket antenna they're about eight dollars uh, for this one uh, it's an RHA 701 um, dual band uh, it says on their retech I think it's out of China it was about eight dollars and uh, uh, the UV5R Plus has this metallic faceplate. Uh, this one's uh, uh, the first one I bought, and I've been really happy with it. Um, fairly easy to program using uh, Chirp or even the Baofeng uh, software that comes with it. It really wasn't hard for me. Uh, I think uh, um, it's uh, fairly uh, self-explanatory once you get your repeaters and your offsets and and so forth really not a, a hard thing to do and then after I got that uh, I've got my second one and this is a, a UV 5R plus and it can be a little deceiving this one uh, being it looks like it's a little bigger but this whole bottom portion uh, down here is actually just battery uh, I've got a 3800 uh, a milliamp uh, aftermarket battery on this nice thing about that battery is it comes with a DC uh, charging plug directly onto the battery uh, you see there there's your uh, mic and your serial port for doing your programming uh, push to talk uh, there's an alarm button uh, the FM radio or that uh, call button is also there the uh, this is Monty down at the bottom but that's actually for your LED light and then on this one if you look, uh, I went ahead and got uh, the diamond antenna. Really like this antenna, whip antenna. It's a diamond uh, SRJ77CA. Uh, that's Sierra Romeo Juliet 77 Charlie Alpha uh, diamond antenna. I think it's about 16 inches long. Uh, dramatically improved uh, the reception on this radio and transmitting. Um, can get to uh, repeaters really well with this um, antenna, this aftermarket, and it plugs right in. The only thing that I will say about it is you can feel if you do a little bit of shaking, sometimes if it's not right tight, uh, you can feel that there's a little bit of play. But I've got it on there pretty good, and I don't feel any play right now. But every once in a while, you got to make sure that's all the way down uh, tight. And again, this is the UV5R. Actually, it's the same uh, radio. Uh, just again, it's got a larger battery. And I want to show you guys something on the battery, if I could. Um, one of the reasons a lot of people uh, ask, does the uh, 3800 milliamp battery fit all of the uh, the bowel things? And pretty much they do. The UV5R Plus, this battery, will not fit directly. Uh, it will if you do some tweaking. Uh, and here's why. I wanted to show you that. Right in here, if you can see, there's this little uh, trapezoid type uh, figure of raised plastic and then you have these two indentions on both sides here and this is directly made 
uh, exactly like the bottom of the UV5R. You can see here and here uh, those two little uh, protrusions that fit down into the battery and then this trapezoid like uh, figure and so when this is connected it really is a nice snug fit but on the UV5R Plus if I can just take this out trying to film with one hand on the bottom of this radio uh, there's no such thing so I'll hold up the two radios uh, side by side and you can see on the UV5R Plus and the UV5R just a little bit of a difference uh, in the plastic housing of these two radios what some people have done and what you can do is go in here with a um, I think a Dremel would probably be your best bet and file this down uh, file this down flush uh, on both sides if you wanted to get this to fit in the UV5R and then you'd probably get a, a, a decent fit on the battery uh, I just haven't chosen to do that yet and I don't know if I will um, probably um, the life of this battery uh, has been pretty good uh, I've got a couple extra and so the regular 1800 milliamp battery serves pretty well so I don't know if I'm actually going to uh, switch those out or not um, I like this battery too uh, I, I just fairly recently got this and I haven't really um, noticed uh, how much longer this battery uh, is lasting on my UV5R but um, reports out there on the net uh, state that it's considerably uh, it, it does considerable for the life of your battery one thing I did notice recently too on the UV5R plus is on some of the batteries and I don't know if it's just the radio or uh, it's something I just didn't notice in the past it'll just drop off uh, if you're monitoring or something um, you know you'll get that low battery warning for a couple of seconds and then it just drops off but if you're transmitting if you're in the middle middle of a rag chew or you're really talking to someone um, I found the other day that I didn't get any warning just all of a sudden I was talking looked up and there was a blank screen uh, so um, just a consideration uh, these batteries are cheap these are about seven ninety nine uh, eight bucks and then I think the the, the 3800 uh, milliamp batteries are right at about 15 to 18 dollars if i'm not mistaken so um just wanted to show you guys some of the differences of of two popular radios these are really great radios uh, i plan on uh, getting uh, a couple of more of these radios for some go bag kits and get them all cloned get them all on the same frequencies a couple of simplex frequencies down uh, and then of course the repeater frequencies but um, all in all I think these are just really good value I know some of the people out there um, like the Woshans uh, there's another company out there um, I think they're uh, paying or playing something like some other Chinese name and but uh, these two really uh, the Baofeng uh, I think makes a really quality uh, product uh, for the price and I've been real happy with them so I wouldn't hesitate to recommend these to you guys so thanks for watching my video and I hope you'll uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and and check out some of the other things that I've talked about thank you